That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. This is the creator set, the Lunar Lander, and this thing is awesome. It's only 1,087 pieces, but the detail on this thing is amazing. And I was going to look at a little bit of the book here, and don't mind that I look down, but I was going to read you a little bit of what this said, because I thought this was really cool. The NASA Apollo 11 Lunar Lander, and it's got some space guys on there, and they're, astro you know, some astro space guys, they're astronauts. So you have some astronauts on here, and this thing, is just it just looks really cool. It's awesome display, the colors with the gold. And these golden stickers that we have here really cool so this was something that happened way back in what was that was it the late 60s possibly the race to the moon they called it humanity's sense of wonder fascination awe of space so our desire to explore the universe it didn't take flight until the 1960s jfk said that there would be a man on the moon they put a man on the moon um others have ventured into space but this was on july 20th 1969 which is wow we're coming up on how many years is that? 50 years since we've gone to space. So I guess this is fitting to talk about the Apollo lunar lander at this point. Um, entering space. We haven't been back to the moon since. So here's some funny stuff I saw in here. Did you know? These little facts in this book. And some really cool facts in this book is it says, Did you know it was a lingerie manufacturer who won the contract to develop the spacesuits worn by the crew of Apollo 11? The craft of weaving by female factory workers inspired the core rope memory of the onboard guidance computer. Huh? I don't know what that means. And liftoff. So, some really cool stories about this. We got some really weird music playing in the background here. I asked for some space music and getting some space music, I suppose. But, yeah, we're coming up on 50 years of this. Okay, Google, stop. A little quiet here. There are some key moments. I'm just going to read a few of these. And this is almost like a little history lesson, a space lesson, if you if you will. July 16th, um, that's next, what is that, next Tuesday? Um, Apollo 11, the first manned space flight to land on the moon, launched into space. July 17th, 1969, astronaut Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, and Buzz Aldrin made their first TV transmission to Earth from space. That's pretty cool. July 20th, 1969, Armstrong and Aldrin boarded the Lunar Lander, e Lunar, Lunar, Lunar Lander Eagle and disengaged from the Apollo Commander Module Columbia. And then the Lunar Lander touched down on the moon on the, in the Sea of Tranquility. That's the area of the moon that they landed on. Two astronauts spoke to Richard Nixon from the moon's surface. They spent two and a half hours collecting samples, setting up equipment, taking pictures, leaving special items. I wonder what they left there. So they left stuff on the moon. It's probably gone at this point, or buried by moon dust. The 21st of July, after a rest period for the astronauts, they ascended and returned to the Columbia and docked, reunited with Collins, who was on the spaceship, and then they were jettisoned, as they call it, into orbit. On July 22nd, they made their way back to Earth. They had a few corrections mid-course, and some television transmissions were made. And then July 24th, 1969, the Apollo 11 capsule and the astronauts landed back on Earth after splashing down into the Pacific Ocean. So it gives you a little story about that. There's so many little there's facts from the Lego designer in here. Did you know that designed by MIT, the computer on board the Lunar Lander provided the guidance, navigation, control of the spacecraft? So really cool, really cool facts. Um, oh, here I asked what was left behind. They tell you in the book what's left behind. Do you want to know? If you don't want to know, it's a spoiler alert. I'm going to read it to you. Um, cover your ears for the next mm, 30 seconds. I'll read fast. Many things were left on the moon after the initial landing by the Eagle. Oh, they didn't even tell me. Never mind. Oh, there is. Here we go. I found something. Cover your ears. If you don't want to hear what was left on the moon, if you do, stay tuned. Commemorative, rem rem commemorative medallions were also left on the surface of the moon that honor the memories of the Apollo 1 astronauts who lost their lives in a launch pad fire and two cosmonauts who also died in accidents. So they, they left stuff like that. They left a symbol of peace, an olive, an olive branch, and a silicon message disc with goodwill statements of U.S. Presidents Eisenhower and Kennedy and Johnson. And they go on in here, and then they put it in French. And then I'm sure it's in another language as well. We have Spanish as well. And then it starts the build of this. And I like how they built the set. Um, we can show you a little bit of that. So here's the box. And we'll flip it around to the front. You can see the astronauts there climbing into the lunar lander. You have the flag on the moon there, and you can see the Earth in the background. That's really cool. Um, really cool scene. We don't get the Earth to build on there. We're on Earth. 
We don't get that setup of that display. You could make a little backdrop yourself, I suppose. Maybe put it in one of my cubbies back here, you know, black background, put a little print out of the moon, and put this on there. Or take some of those Lego land, those Lego base plates, the old moon base plates. Those would be perfect for this. It does let you build one. So there's a brick built base plate for this. Not shown on the front, it is shown on the back. If you didn't see it there, but you can see that they made a little crater there. I guess that's in the Sea of, Tr sea of Tranquility there. So you're building a brick built one, or you could substitute it, put it on one of those old base plates. Sorry for that. I gotta fix this camera. I'm trying some new things, playing with the studio, so don't mind the lighting. Don't mind me blabbing over here. But I thought this was a really cool set, and it did come, if you didn't see this, I'm hiding behind this little thing behind here, but I'm gonna bring myself up there. And you can see that it came with this little patch. So you have the Apollo Lunar Lander patch here. And these come in the set if you spent a certain dollar amount. I think they're gone now. But a little patch, although they might still be on LEGO's website. Don't quote me on that. But really cool that it came with this. You could frame this, hang it up somewhere, put it in your setup somewhere. Just a little commemorative patch that's probably some people will collect it and will be hard to find someday. I think I have two of them because I put a bunch of things at the same, at two different shipment so I got two of them because I believe it was a $99 purchase don't think they had any have them anymore though this was the I'm gonna show you this there's the book I got that upside down for you no yeah, we got that upside down there we go I don't know which way to hold this thing there we go the leaner book there's the stickers some very silvery stickers gold stickers there on this silver background I'm gonna bring that down a little bit bring this one up we go. We're gonna switch these around on the fly, and then I can show you. You know, I can. There we go. I'm back to there. I wanted to be. Bring this up a little bit. This is called on the fly camera fixing because I'm by myself and doing this and trying to move between cameras. I have three cameras down here. Pretty tricky. But when I enough about cameras, this is really cool. The Apollo Lunar Lander. Very excited space stuff. And space stuff is great. They have some Mission to Mars type sets that have just come out as well. Exploration Mars. There's some rockets, some shuttles, some little Mars shuttles. Really cool looking stuff. I was thinking about getting some of those and building those. Maybe those could work. You know, we have the moon and then we can do some Mars stuff. Obviously, they're kind of far apart. But they're all space, so they could be all together in some nice little space layout. The old space stuff had blue and yellow. A lot of blue and yellow. And maybe that's what they thought. Um, color wise they would be used for ships but nothing ever was blue and yellow it's always these whites and grays and gold foil and I'm not sure of why there's gold colors in it and silver reflecting the sun maybe maybe it's something to do with absorbing the sun not sure but this is a fun set that I'm looking forward to building and maybe we'll do a little speed build on this or a time lapse and you can see it go together and I'll do a little space diorama for it that would be fun thanks for watching don't forget check me out on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and something else instagram at built from bricks as well as a monthly or it may be semi-monthly live stream i'm thinking about doing some changes talking to more people more interviews some pretty cool stuff thanks for watching what have you built today